So the human heartbeat is usually steady and sounds like a lub dub lub dub sound when one listens using a stethoscope. However, if the blood makes an extra noise, for example, like a whooshy sound, as it would flow through the heart, it is called a heart murmur. One cannot feel a heart murmur, but it can only be heard using a stethoscope. Uh, anyone can have a heart murmur. Most heart murmurs in children are innocent or functional, which means that they're not related to any underlying heart disease, either congenital or acquired. Occasionally, a heart murmur can be abnormal and be caused by an underlying heart problem. In children, it is most likely related to a congenital heart disease, wherein a child is born with a structural problem in the heart, for example, like a hole in the heart or a valve problem. Most innocent heart murmurs go away on their own when the child grows older. An experienced pediatric cardiologist is able to tell you if your child has a heart murmur and whether it is normal, example, an innocent heart murmur or abnormal. So while most heart murmurs in children are innocent or functional, occasionally heart murmurs are indicative of a problem in the heart likely related to be in form of a congenital heart disease or a structural problem in the heart. Now, depending on the type of problem, this can lead to a varied degree of seriousness from very simple cardiac lesions to more complex conditions. A heart murmur is an extra noise heard with a stethoscope while listening to the heartbeat. It is not a condition and hence it does not cause any side effects. While majority of the heart murmurs are innocent in children, if a heart murmur is likely related to a structural problem in the heart or congenital heart disease, then you have to address or manage the heart condition. Uh, heart murmurs are picked up when listening to the heartbeat using a stethoscope by a healthcare professional. If a child is found to have a heart murmur uh, during a routine examination, and if it is persistent, then they should be referred by their GP or hospital doctor to a specialist pediatric cardiologist. So an experienced pediatric cardiologist will undertake a careful assessment and be able to tell you if your heart murmur in the child is normal, i.e. an innocent heart murmur or not. Uh, they can confirm this by undertaking an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of the heart, to exclude a few cardiac problems and arrange for other tests like chest X-ray or ECG, which is the electrical rhythm of the heart, as part of cardiac evaluation. Now, if most heart murmurs are innocent or flow murmurs, means that they do not have a structural problem, then they will just go away on their own. So as the child grows older, the heart murmur will just recover and go away. Occasionally, children have heart murmurs which are innocent and are heard more prominently when they are unwell with some fever or cold. If the heart murmur is related to a structural problem in the heart, depending on of the type of problem you have identified, this might require regular monitoring or in more serious cases, it might require procedures like open heart surgery.